Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna have a look at how to play NAS games, you know the old Nintendo games from your childhood on your Android device. So for this, first of all you would need an emulator, I would highly recommend that you use John NAS Lite. Uh, this is a free version, a free emulator in the Google Play Store, there is also a full version but I really cannot explain the uh, features like what it has and what it doesn't so you're gonna have to look it up for yourself but to me personally the Lite version gets the job done. If you want to support the developer, you can just purchase the full version. Anyways, download the app, like I said, its name, look it up in the Play Store. Once it is downloaded, the cool thing about this app is that it automatically scans your whole storage for NAS files. So to download the NAS files, the, the old games, you can uh, look them up in Google as well. I would recommend CoolROM.com, they have a lot of ROMs uh, for such games. Anyways, uh, download a few to your SD card, the NAS files like I have currently, let me just show you real quick um, let's just go to my SD card and you can see how I have Double Dragon and Super Mario you can just download them whenever you want and uh, after that basically you just start the emulator app so once you start it, it should automatically uh, start scanning I believe only for the first time in case you want to force it to scan, you can just tap on search games and it will start looking again. And okay, so these are the games so far. You also have, of course, a lot of preferences here, uh, such as graphics settings, audio settings, gamepad, input settings, other settings, and stuff such as that. You can change the scaling, skip uh, frame modes, and stuff such as that. So I'm going to leave that up to you. Anyways, as you can see now here, the NAS files. Basically, you choose the game and you begin playing it. So let's try out, for example, Double Dragon 2. As you can see, it also has sound without any problems. As you can see, it started up. This is my pad, left, right, and everything. It is working just like a joystick, as you can see. Press start. Start once again. As you can see the buttons and everything is working well and this supports multi-touch of course as long as your device supports it you can as you can see I'm jumping while walking that is multi-touch but I personally kind of find it hard to play such games on uh, a tablet or a phone on the touch screen but still they are playable and as you can see it is working fine so okay this game is working fine let's just show you one more example and that is the super mario bros this is also working you can also resume and save your game state from here so that's really cool i, just, I can just save this to a swap like i said touching the screen is kind of hard for me and so i died but yeah this is how you play the old Nintendo games on your Android device. Thank you for watching and please subscribe if you want to see more videos.